just making technology available to people doesn't work very well. We know that from the whole history of educational technology, of all, all the failed technologies that have been out there. Making it available is not enough. It has to be integrated into the instructional program in a way that makes sense to, to teachers. So, um, and that really gets back to the issue of good instructional design. And, you know, in the field of instructional design, you start with clear objectives, you know, and really asking yourself, what do we want students to learn? What, what is the change in knowledge we're trying to promote here? And then we have to use video in service of those objectives. I think just saying, you know, here's some cool videos to watch, see, see, you know, see what you think. And that's not going to be very effective if, if they're not directed towards the lear learning objectives. So I, I, think it's, I think it's always important to start with instructional design. It's not video that causes learning. It's good instructional design and sound instructional methods that cause learning and video you know should be part of that design